Let's bring in Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi. He's the top Republican on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, good to see you. Um, you wrote last week, quote, the United States was the arsenal of democracy during the Second World War. If we fulfill that role again, we will show Xi and Putin that there are very real limits to what their partnership can achieve, unquote. Do you think Biden is on track to fulfilling that role with his recent trip to Europe? Well, let me say, I, I, I applaud the president for going to Europe. They were great words. Now they, they do need to be followed up with action. And, uh, you know, we've complained um, over the last 12 months about foot dragging. Uh, uh, appropriations have been made. Uh, we've urged them uh, to give weapons uh, more, quicker and better. And, uh, and, and so I, I hope once the president gets back, his order uh, to the Pentagon is, Let's give um, all the ammunition they need, the long range missiles, the air support, uh, th the things that uh, that Zelensky needs to actually win this spring offensive. So, yes, you've been critical of what you say is the unnecessary slow walking of the aid to Ukraine. Are you having active discussions with other lawmakers uh, about uh, pushing Biden to send Zelensky, for example, the F-16 fighter jets he so desperately wants? Uh, I think we should do that. And, you know, we're, there's always an excuse. Uh, you know, they're used to uh, flying MiGs over there and there will be a training gap. Well, uh, we've had a lot of time for training. And and uh, if there's more training that needs to be done, we need to start it this afternoon and, and make sure that we can get them what they need to win this offensive uh, in the spring. The, one thing I'm, I'm concerned that the American people don't realize is Vladimir Putin has failed miserably in this late winter offensive. Uh, he, he may have gained a meter or two in a, in a small town, but it has not succeeded and is not likely to succeed. What it has done is, um, it is uh, result in a huge, not, uh, uh, not, not just casualty rate, but mortality rate. Yeah. Uh, most of the problems they, they've had have been actually fatalities among these prisoners and these conscripts who are not ready to fight. And uh, no matter what China gives them, they will never be ready to fight a war like this. A source on the Hill tells us that you led a meeting last week with rank and file Republicans to try to cement support um, and educate some of them even on, on Ukraine aid and the oversight of those billions of dollars. The source went on to say that you sent members, quote, a whole chart explaining the breakdown of U.S. assistance versus Europe, European assistance. Do you think you changed any minds or solidified any support? Well, listen, I, I think there is strong support among the Republican conference. I, I'd say 90 percent support um, for giving Ukraine the the tools it needs to win the war. We're not asking our, our uh, troops to go over there and fight. They're doing the, the dirty work and we're we're helping the West provide some uh, equipment. Uh, I had questions about our share of the burden at our at our uh, Tuesday lunch and also you know, what what the other uh, allies are doing and uh, and what percentage of, of our GDP we're spending on that. So the next day I, uh, I complied and, and supplied them with chapter and verse. And I think it was very helpful. And, you know, I think the American people, uh, I, I think they want uh, Ukraine to win. They don't want us to get into uh, a long uh, war of attrition where we're making our allies fight with one hand tied behind their backs. And so the, the truth of the matter, Jake, is the president has the authority for 10 times more weaponry than he promised uh, this week in Europe. And, yeah. and what we wish he would do is, is, is take the congressional authorization and show that we want Ukraine to be in this to win this. And, so, and frankly, uh, she is uh, the president, uh, the communist president of China is watching this. If, right. if we're worried about what might happen in the Western Pacific with communist China, we ought to be mindful that they are watching for U.S. and Western resolve in Ukraine. So what do you make of the Pentagon spokesperson's threat this afternoon that there will be consequences if China does provide lethal military aid to Russia in its assault on Ukraine? 
I don't know what they mean by that, but the consequences should be that we're we're going to give the long range missiles to Ukraine regardless of what China does. And and we're going to show that that we have the resolve to to follow through on the strong and and uh, welcome words that the, the, the American president uh, delivered in Europe. Republican Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi, top Republican on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jake.